Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today we are with Mercedes-Benz collector, Phil Lutfi. Phil, good to see you. Thank you, as always. And he's got a show car here today. What year is this one? This is a 1971 Mercedes-Benz factory display car for show purposes only. And is it a 280 or? It's a 280 SL, five speed with special fire engine red paint job and uh, has a very interesting history. We think it was probably the Paris show car for 1970. I haven't been able to prove it yet, but it was sold to a very famous French actor, Claude Lelouch. So we assume that he uh, purchased it at the uh, auto show and uh, drove it for a few years and he's a very famous in that he would do a lot of racing videos so and this was his car this was his car let's take a look come on right alongside me so the actor's car is right here and obviously we've got that tell me about the headlights they're a little bit different because yeah, why these, these are the european headlights the whole light and they're yellow lights on top of it. They're not can, the Can we white. turn the headlights on for just a moment? Sure. I want to show those. Oh, yeah. The yellow hue. All right, we'll shut those off. Now, that was for... What was the, what was the reasoning for the uh, yellow? Well, that's the way out. And French cars are all yellow. French cars are all yellow. And this one's wonderful. Or they were all yellow at that time, period. I think they still are. Is that for bugs or something? I mean... Uh, no, for safety. For safety. And I just see... And the front end looks great. Let's take a look at this car from the side. That looks great. This car also has yellow headlights. This one does too? You're right. Very cool. Now, Phil, how long have you had this one? I've had this one for about five years. So this is a new one for you? Right. Only since 2013. And you found this car in Europe, obviously. Yeah, I bought a broker found it for me, uh, a French uh, broker, and they found it for me. And, uh, obviously, this unbuckles, and you can have the convertible top. Now you'll notice on all the French cars they put the serial or a serial number on it for a, a, a police protection. Oh, interesting. To keep the uh, track of the cars that would be stolen. Very interesting. Let's show the uh, back of this car. Wonderful. We have some treats in the trunk. Let's show those. Go ahead. The time period correct luggage. The uh, HEPCO luggage is very rare. Look at this. And what is this? That's just a tag. Uh instructions on uh, removing the uh, tires, the wheels. Instructions. And this is different lamps. Look at that. It's a little grating on there, like so. That's nice. There, and that goes in there. Show what we have here. So they would keep the... This is the uh, 
bill sheet card that shows that it has the five-speed transmission and that it was also a factory display car. I don't remember what numbers signified what, but somebody will that's know the bill sheet. In the proper pieces here. Factory tools. toolkit with the uh, pliers never having been removed from the <laughs> original wow. paper. Wow. That is great. And there's uh, a couple of other pieces in there. And the original. Yeah, the the car was originally a no uh, radio de radio deletes car. Somebody along the way added the radio. Probably Claude added it. Had a dealer put it in for him. But it was a radio delete car, as shown in the build sheet. And there are extra uh, fan yeah. belts and um, An air. air pressure gauge. Thank you. Look at that. That connects to that. So smooth. Oh, this is a wonderful little ride the style car. Parking brake. Very cozy seats. The warning triangle in the back. Let me see if I can get you that as a better shot. An additional set player, all the chrome is wonderful. Let me just get close up on that. This was Phil's putting together inside. This was the triangle, the warning triangle that was in the back that I just showed you. Roadside, Roadside assistance. So let's, uh, let's pop the hood, shall we? Let me show this as well. And then this is this. Phil, is this a speaker here, right here that I'm looking at? Yeah, okay. Five speed, very nice. Now this is unique because right off the bat we're seeing chrome here and we see a painted valve cover which would indicate that it might have been the show car. Also when uh, people look at the 
the 113s to buy them, they always check to make sure that the spot wells are along the fenders to show that they have not been replaced. Yeah. Well, what they did on this show car is they filled in all the spot wells ah, to make them look so it's smooth. Perfect. And they also placed metal plates here on the inside to cover up the spot wells to dress them up a little bit. Ah, the, uh, yeah. I see that. Of them a little bit better. Wow. They added the horns. Just show what that looks like to pick it up. Kind of all opened up, if you will. The correct luggage. This has been polished as well from the factory. What a treat. What a treat. We're going to button this one up a little bit. Put that back, and like so. Button that back up, like so. Well, let me show this before I forget. This is something that appears that the dealer put together as kind of a gift, as a nice tool set. And that is a nice tool set. Specific pieces for the car here. This comes together and folds together like so. Like so. Okay, so we'll shut this. Sure, I get a shot of the overall back. So let's start her up. they see subscribe to the channel hit the bell and you can see more cars like this that we video we'll close that Phil I know that uh, it's such a treat to come and see some great Mercedes that you have and you've kept so well restored what a treat my pleasure to have you on my car story pleasure is all mine thank, thank you it's thank been you. an honor thank you